Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Geneva. I'm Leah Thompson. And I'm Jack Housengate coming up on today's show. We know Halloween is tomorrow, but we have some where you can be today after school to celebrate a little bit early. And on Halloween, if you want to learn a new language, we have somewhere you can be in the morning PLC. All right. Well, stay tuned because GTV News starts right now. Welcome back, Geneva. That's Leah Thompson. And that's Jack Hazegay here with your morning announcements for Wednesday, October 29th, 2013. If you love playing table tennis, well then make sure to meet Mr. Nicholson outside the contest gym today after school at 3.15 for some table tennis fun. There will be multiple tables set up, set up excuse me, so make sure you join the fun, especially if you think you can take down Mr. Nicholson. And the Gay Straight Alliance will be meeting today after school from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock and will be held in room KK276. Anyone is welcome to stop by. Here is a friendly reminder that the Math Tutor Lab is still open during the week, Monday through Thursday, after school at 2.55 for about an hour. Swing on by today to review for a test or try to understand a new concept a little better. The Math Tutor Lab is located in the library classroom. And one group here at GHS enjoys cooking up some fun. GTV reporter Evan Kafka is here with one student that has some more information on how you can taste their creations. Evan? Thanks, guys. I'm here with Victoria Asensio, who is part of Culinary. So, Victoria, we know that Culinary is coming up this Friday. Yes. So, can you tell us a little bit about what will be on the menu? Oh, we have some new fall items, uh, hot cocoa, we have some spiced apple cider, we also have a creamy tomato bisque with bacon that we'll be serving. Sounds really good. Now, um, have you thought about pursuing a career in culinary at all? Yes, I actually am looking into College of DuPage. They have a new restaurant management and hospitality unit that's really cool and bang for your buck since it's community. Mm -hmm. But um, I know a lot of people are going to Johnson & Wales or Kendall College as well. Very cool. Now, um, you, have, you mentioned that you have a different teacher right now, so can you tell us a little bit about who it is? Yes. I don't know if anyone's had Mrs. Peters for English, but uh, her husband right now is subbing for Miss Jankovic while she's recovering from surgery. So uh, he's really cool. He's giving us a lot of his tips since he's so experienced as a retired chef. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Now, um, make sure to check out Culinary on Friday. Now back to the desk. I will thank you. Culinary Club will be meeting today <coughs> after school, excuse me, I'm a little sick, not tomorrow in room EE182. They will be making chocolate caramel covered apples and your choice of Oreo or M&M toppings. Be sure to let Mrs. Konsdorf know if you plan to attend so there are enough supplies. Stop by and join the fall fun. And believe it or not, Halloween is tomorrow, but one club here at GHS is ready to celebrate a day early. Viking Pals will be meeting in the cafeteria until 4 o'clock. If you would like to come to this Halloween party, then make sure to get creative and wear a costume. Oh man, Jack, you sound really sick. Please stay away. If you're interested in learning <laughs> a new language with your hand sign language club, welcome to any members with all levels of experience. Okay, um, this club will meet on Thursdays. <laughs> During the PLC period from 7.40 to 8.45 in room EE180. During these meetings, Jack, yeah, come on. You will have the opportunity to learn signs, play games, and of course, <laughs> be sure to bring your friends for a fun morning. All right. Next Thursday, International Club will be meeting at 3 p.m. in room J243. International Club is a group that talks about what is going on around the world and participates in fun activities. Make sure to attend the meeting next week, but always keep an eye out for future announcements. And any student interested in Model UN, the next conference will be the Munich Conference. Any students are welcome to participate in this event, hosted at the University of Chicago in February. Every student participating must submit a $150 deposit to Mrs. Kalioff by tomorrow. 
The deadline for 1X missions is this Friday at 3 o'clock. Please see Mr. Dowd if you, Mrs. Dowd excuse me, if you have any questions or need a form. Submissions will not be accepted after this Friday, so make sure you get yours as soon as possible. The varsity football team will be taking on St. Patrick High School on Friday night right here on Burgess Field at 730 for their very first playoff game. Everyone needs to remember that you must have a ticket to get into the game and all student IDs and season passes will not get you in. Tickets will be sold today and tomorrow during all lunch hours and will be sold for $5. All right, but before football, congratulations to the girls varsity volleyball team who will be headed to the regional championship game after defeating Addison Trail in two sets last night, 25-19 and 25-16. The Vikings will be taking on arch rival Batavia in the championship match which will be Thursday at 6 o'clock at Addison Trail High School. So everyone, come on out. And now here's three things to know before we go. Viking Pals will be hosting a Halloween costume party in the cafeteria today after school. One Act Director submissions are due by Friday at 3 o'clock p.m. And playoff tickets are on sale during lunch hours today and tomorrow for $5. All right, guys. It was a good show today. I'm really excited for the Halloween show tomorrow. I think uh, we're, we'll be dressing up in some yeah. wacky costumes. I'm, I'm interested got, to see what you're going to wear. Yeah, it's a secret, but I have it all planned out for the show tomorrow, so I'm very excited. All right. And guys, don't forget, um, closing capture pictures. Well, we're always accepting those, and Halloween's tomorrow, so make sure you send in pictures of all your costumes. That's all the news we have for today, Geneva. I'm Jack Housingay. And I'm Leah Thompson. Have a great day, Geneva. Don't you know, things will go you